Hello everyone, my name is Yiji Wang. I'm happy to introduce my capstone project, the development of a six axis rotating maneuver arm. I call it Easy Bot System. My supervisor is Dr. Ali here. First, let's watch our video. This presentation will cover the overall introduction of the system and focus on the kinematics derivation and what's more the graphical user interface and the vision tracking system will be demonstrated. My motivation is to build a robotic arm uh, including the mechanical and the electrical subsystems and what's more the most important is the kinematics, the forward kinematics and the inverse kinematics needs to be derived and the graphical user interface, the high level control system, and also the low level control system needs to be designed and programmed by itself. What's more, the video tracking system needs to be implemented, and the robotic could realize some specific tasks like drawing on the table. My EasyBot system is based on the AR2 robotic arm. Uh, I assembled the mechanical structure with the CNC machine aluminum parts and the 3D printed uh, ABS cover and anti factor. The high level control program is uh, designed using MATLAB, and the signal is transferred via USB to a microcontroller, which is an Arduino Mega 2560. It controls the stepper motors and receives the signal from the limited switches. The power supply. Uh, and other electric components are located in the insulated enclosure box and the 240 main power supply is transferred to 24 watts to power the stepper motor drivers and also is transferred to 5 watts to power the Arduino board and also the pulse and the direction pin within the motor drivers. The limit switches are connected to the Arduino board with the RJ45 connector. The most important is to figure out the relationship between the joint parameters with the post, and, uh, post of the anti factor. Uh, the first step is to know where the anti factor is if all the joint parameters are given. It's called forward kinematics. I use the modified dynamic Hartenberg notation here to define the rule of assigning coordinate frames and how to measure the parameters. There are four parameters is needed as the MDH notations duplicates the X axis of any joint is always perpendicular and uh, pointing to the Z axis of the next joint, which decreases to degree of freedom. The four parameters contains two distance and uh, two, uh, two uh, angles. The theta here represents the changing joint angles, and uh, the other uh, parameters are all constant due to the physical limit. Following the matrix equation here, we can calculate the individual transformation matrix, which represents the post of joint J with reference to J, uh, joint J minus one. After all the joint, uh, after all the individual transformation is obtained, the global transform matrix can be calculated by multiplying all of them in sequence. 
from the 4x4 matrix here, we can know the orientation and the position of the last joint with reference to the first joint. On the other hand, if uh, to figure out the joint angles based on the known pose of any factor is called uh, inverse kinematics. The closed form solution is selected here as the numerical solution requires more calculation. As the last three joints uh, intersect at one common point, so it's easy to calculate the first three joints using the geometric method. The intersection is like our wrist, and uh, if the position of the intersection can be calculated if the pose of the two center points of the end factor is given, which, may, which is also the coordinate of the J point J5 here. As the left figure shows, the link 1, 2, 3 is always uh, in the common plane, so the joint, the first three joints can be calculated using the rule of cosine. Once the first three joint angles is calculated, the orientation of the point J5 is, can be calculated. So the re remaining last three joints can be calculated using algebraic method as it forms a spherical three joints manipulator now. As for the GUI design, the GUI is designed and programmed using MATLAB guide, which is the MATLAB guide, uh, GUI design environment. It is, uh, it is a tool for creating GUI using the buttons and other basic components. There are three tabs in total. The first tab we need to do is to use the auto calibration to enable the, all the joints to find its limit switch and return back to the original condition. The radio buttons here indicate the process. Then <coughs> the main control tab involves the forward kinematics. You can, you can drag a slider and input the values in the box. Uh, once you check the simulation of the robotic arm, you press in the move button will drive the whole robotic arm to the desired pose. The last tab is the inverse kinematics and the loop motion button uh, tab. You can insert the pose of the end factor and get the joint angles. And also you can program the waypoint sequence here and enable the loop motion. The VN tracking system is based on the Apple tab, which is similar to the QR code we are familiar with. The camera used here is the Open MV Cam M7, which is attached on the end factor, which, which forms the end point configuration. The Open MV IDE returns the position of the tag within the, cam, uh, within the image captured by the camera, which can be transferred to the pose of the tag with reference to the camera. Based on the current pose of the end factor and the constant relationship between the end factor and the camera, we can calculate the pose of the tag in the global coordinate frame. So the tracking, tracking motion can be realized uh, according to the moving tag. In conclusion, I use the robotic arm including the mechanical and the electrical subsystems and the forward kinematics and inverse kinematics are derived and the GUI interfa uh, graphical user interface is programmed by myself and the Apple based vision tracking system is implemented and the robotic can draw on the table. In the future, the more advanced uh, <coughs> feedback system may be implemented into the feedback system like the PID control and also the Neural network method may be used for some uh, may be used for some more advanced inverse kinematic method to increase the speed and also the accuracy of, of the inverse kinematics. Thank you for your listening.